Hello, can you hear me? Yay. All right, first of all, um, thank you so much for coming so far to celebrate with our family. Sumi, Matthew, um, I'm so happy to see you all here. Um, first of all, I want to thank you, my parents. Yeah. Uh, con muốn nói một lời cảm ơn bố mẹ đã nuôi chúng con lớn khôn và và dạy cho chúng con rất là nhiều bài học trong cuộc đời giống như là phải giúp đỡ nhau phải kiên nhẫn và phải thương yêu nhau cho nên con cảm ơn bố mẹ nhiều so, yeah. So I was just thanking my parents for raising us and teaching us important life lessons like love, patience, and communication. So thank you. Um, I want to thank a few guests here who has come a few states far away. My auntie, Ngavu, um, uncle, uncle Gun, Pakdwit and all of the guests here who had to come for. Thank you so much. Um, a lot of people had to come together for this wedding to happen. <laughs> and it would be possible with a very important, few important guests here. So for example, the flowers you see on your table there is done by my auntie here, Auntie Fung, she did the flowers on your on your on your table. And then my uncle, Uncle Long, um, two days ago, he clipped off hydrangea flowers and oh. took it over the house so that we can put together some of these stuff for you that you see here tonight. So May I talk something? Yeah. Please. Okay. Yeah. Matthew and Sumi, as I am, as many other, wishing you, both of you, in love now and forever. Okay. And this wedding causing both family in the concept unity from diversity, right? And all, we are, all of us become, know each other somehow, and the loving from both you bring us to everyone, each of us. Thank you very much. May I talk in Vietnamese, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Kính thưa quan viên hai họ, hạnh phúc của Xuân Mỹ và Matthew là hạnh phúc của đôi lứa bây giờ và mãi mãi. Đó là ước muốn của tất cả quý vị cùng giống như là của cá nhân tôi. Và cũng là cái dây nối kết và tỏa sáng đến Đại gia đình trong yêu thương của hai họ. Xin hết. Okay. May I give it to the MC? Oh. Okay. Um, I saw one person raise their hand up pretty quickly. It's the best man. <laughs> Matthew and I go back to 2015 when we started our PhD journeys together at University of Texas Arlington. So he was my first friend in the U.S. and has been my guide to life in the U.S., even though he does not like to be called guide at all. Uh, he has corrected me so many times when I mispronounce something or mean something else and say something else. He is always correcting me in a nice way, okay? Uh, so I, I take Matthew as a man of passion. So on my first few interactions with him, uh, he mentioned how he changed his career path to become an astrophysicist. Uh, while most people would have 
chosen a very lucrative job than to follow their passion. This man here followed his uh, passion to become astrophysicist. Yeah, he was definitely on a way to make more money than what he's doing now, but he chose uh, astrophysics. So this is one thing I really admire about him. Uh, he gives utmost importance to character, passion, and values over money. Also, uh, another of his so many good trait is that he is a principled man. And let me tell you why I believe he is a principled man. So uh, he holds principle at the highest level. Uh, he's been vegetarian for almost entirety of life now. I can, I can call that. Okay. Uh, once he established the fact that meats are f uh, from animals and decided to say that, hey, uh, he should not eat something that cause harm to animals. I think that's his philosophy behind being a vegetarian. So, uh, and he's not broken this principle ever since he decided to become one. Okay, um, I've known so many people who say, oh, I'm going to be vegetarian over a time, and then I've, I've seen them very easily get back to eating meat, okay? So uh, they have relapsed over the course of time and will go back to eating meat. Whereas this man here, uh, a man of principle and commitment, so he's not done that. So uh, Sumi, I believe you already know how lucky you are we have found this gem who is 100% committed, okay? This is man of commitment to you. Uh, he will seek, stick to you through thick and thin as he promised in your wedding vows. Uh, so with, the, with their permission, uh, I would like to share my knowledge. Hey, everyone has their own understanding of how things get started, but I'm sharing my understanding of how they get started, okay? So um, I know Michael, who uh, officiated the wedding this today, um, suggested, I think, hey, you should open uh, uh, an online profile, and he heeded to that thing. So uh, I remember uh, Michael and um, Michelle, they kind of helped him set up profile. Uh, and this, this is the story around 2018, okay? Uh, and so uh, he, he set up profile, and then this guy's masked. Uh, this guy masked, and then uh, Sumi at that time, although she was living in Fort, Fort Smith, uh, happened to live in Dallas very briefly. And I, I believe, I understand, she created that account while she was there. But she forgot to update the address, and I'm really, really, really glad that she didn't uh, update the address, otherwise with Matthew's profile, it would only be looking for a person in Dallas, not in Fort Smith. So, uh, so this is chance, this is luck, this is destiny. So, uh, and then I remember during the earlier days, I, I would tell, uh, you know, hey, Matthew, you, you should talk this way or that way, you know. I'll try to use my um, mediocre experience. Uh, but then uh, their relationship further solidified over the course of time. Uh, and uh, like Michael says, you know, no news is good news. So, you know, I, I didn't realize how, how uh, deeper their relationship had gotten until I remember, you know, uh, Matthew driving to Fort Smith or I remember dropping him off, the, uh, off at the airport or picking him off from the airport when he traveled to uh, California. And I also clearly remember finally getting to see Sumi for the first time in Arlington. Uh, and time has flown by so fast. And here we are here today, celebrating their successful love story. Uh, while the Millard family already know what a gem this best friend of mine is, I wanted to let Sumi and her family know that how lucky you are to have him as new addition to their family. Uh, oh. I toast, I, I don't have alcohol right now with me, but still. 
uh, I toast to their new beginning as a newlywed and give them my best wishes in successfully nav navigating conjugal life ahead. Congratulations, guys. All right, so this is um, a story. This is a story, a memory, um, privilege of having grown up with Sumi as the, young, as the youngest brother, which means that I was always taken care of, but I was also kind of their plaything. <laughs> just, just because like, I'm the youngest brother, so they would put like makeup on me or like, like nail polish or whatever. There was one time when you put nail polish on me, you said, Kui, just sit here for one hour, trust me. And I think it was both you and Suha. Anyways, I felt very honored when Sumi asked me to be the MC at her wedding. Um, you know, when you're the youngest, it's pretty hard to find chances to get them to rely on you. They're, they're always taking care of you. It's, it's hard for it to go the other way. But I remember one of the first times that Sumi asked me for help. I think I was three or four, and she was pretty curious when she was young. Uh, she wanted to get a better understanding of how water balloons worked. You know, it's pretty normal um, childhood interest. But she was more interested in the explosive part. And back then, we didn't have any slow motion cameras like we do today. And I don't think YouTube was a thing back then either. So we just had to figure it out in real time. <clears throat> okay, Kui. So stay right here as she placed me, um, I think it was like her sunroom. Anyway, she put me right behind the window <laughs> inside the house. And so she, <laughs> she went outside. She told me it's going to look really pretty when I throw this. So she went into the front yard to ready some water balloons. But the thing is, we didn't really have water balloons back then. Um, I was three or four, so this was a few years after we had moved from Vietnam. So we just had these like really sturdy, like thickened balloons for like, for like just air. <laughs> and water balloons were supposed to be thin; they were supposed to break on impact. These were not that case. Anyway, she she launches some balloon pretty, pretty damn hard at me, and everyone's super happy. Everyone's in a great mood, and that balloon just crashes. <laughs> just crashes through the class, like, like nobody's business. I don't know where mom and dad were, um, but they didn't find out for a week. No one got hurt. But yeah, uh, Sumi has always been bright, adventurous, and very caring. And when I first met Matthew a few years ago, I could tell that there was something special there. You know, in my conversations with them, I just visited them last year, and Matthew picked me up and like, 1 a.m. Or, or midnight, whenever. And so we got to chatting, and I can tell that he has a very similar, uh, like, inquisitive flair, like, like the almost dangerous kind, but not the, not the illegal kind. <laughs> Anyways, um, they're today, um, you know, after all of these years, their commitment and love to each other continues to impress me, and I really hope the best for these two. That's it. Just real quick. Yeah. So when Kui was a little kid, he let me do whatever I want with him. In a sense of he's my like shadow. He's like my body. So what we did was my parents were out. We snuck out with water balloons. And I thought it was a good idea to just throw a water balloon into the window. But he stand on the other side of the window and he get to see the explosion. And then when we like basically smashed that window, we thought, oh crap. So what we did was, and my parents didn't know for a while, I pulled the shards of glass outside the window pane, so they couldn't tell it was a missing window glass there. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the missing part. <laughs> so, yeah. But thank you so much, Kui. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. I didn't prepare anything, so let's go off the cuff. Um, it's really touching to see all of you here. Uh, I know some of you came from really far away. Um, I, for instance, I haven't seen some of my aunts and uncles here for 20 years. 
and yet they, they came here to our wedding. So uh, it's really special to us. And I uh, just want to make a special thank you to Sumi's family. Uh, hi back, or should I say Boma and Kui and Suha, and of course Ong Wai, he's not here, he's still back at home, and the rest of her extended family, all the cousins and aunts and uncles. Um, they've been so welcoming from the first time I set uh, foot in their house. They made me feel so welcome and make sure I was very well fed, maybe too well fed. And uh, when I first stepped in, I thought, it smells really nice. It smells like home. And so they've been so supportive of me and Sumi. Um, just being around them now makes me feel like they're another home for me. And um, yeah, I just want to thank them for raising such a wonderful woman in Sumi. I can tell how much she loves and respects them. And um, I'm going to do everything I can to make her happy and make you all proud. So, um, Sumi, did you want to say anything? Oh, I, I, don't, I also want to shout out to my best man and my, especially Michael the officiant. He, uh, this is the first time he's ever done that before. I don't think you could tell. He's very uh, good with words, so thank you. Yeah, like my, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, like um, Matthew mentioned, thank you so much for coming, everyone, families, friends, sister, cousins, aunts and uncles. I'm just really happy that everyone's here. And uh, we were driving the other day, and I told Matthew, what a special moment in our life that we are able to have everyone here. So, <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> But uh, we are really happy that you're here, and we are so blessed that you are here. So it's a memory that, um, <laughs> you can come here and support me. <laughs> what you oh, I thought you were going to support me if I fall and comfort me if I cry. <laughs> it's okay. He's, he's new at this, so it's okay. <laughs> but um, thank you so much. I really appreciate every single person here. And even if you're not here, I really thank all of the well wishes from all my friends and my family. So um, I hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, please enjoy some cake. And uh, I believe they already finished cutting everything. So. And get on the dance floor. <laughs> if you want. If you want. But I know we're kind of like a chill crowd. So <laughs> we can enjoy some nice ambient music also. <laughs> thank you.